Okay, so what we're gonna do today, guys, is we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the 4 l lady. Now, there's, we've got it installed and everything like that, but there's a few things that we still have to do. Obviously, is fill it with fluid, and that's why we got this Dexron 6. And this was actually $30 a gallon on Amazon Prime. So, if you need some, this that was actually the cheapest place I found it, it was on Amazon. And it's AC Delco, so it's gotta be good, right? And then, to go with that, obviously, it's a junkyard transmission. We'll go ahead and change out the filter just in case. And then to fill it, we also have this dipstick. So this dipstick is actually for a TH400, which is a very similar transmission. So I'm hoping that this fits because the 4 Lady dipsticks are like $60 and $70, whereas this was $25. So I'm hoping that this is going to work. And if not, it, I'm out $25. Who, who gives a, a crap? you know uh, and then this is that harness I kept speaking of so this is the uh, 4L60 side and then this is the 4L80 side and then it has a speed sensor that runs up there and the black wire is if you're looking at it like this the black wire is 23 and the green wire is 22 so well we'll get to that we're gonna we're gonna wire that up just in case you want to you know a quick uh, overview real quick to get started that's what the pins are and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install all this. So, I'm gonna use the transmission. Oh, this, hold on, let me. It actually looks. Under here in the transmission, it actually looks really nice and clean. I mean, obviously, I just put that filter in, but other than that, there's no buildup or anything like that. It all looks fantastic, obviously, because transmission fluid tends to keep things clean. And But I mean, the fluid that came out of it, though, it looks like they maintained it pretty well and regularly uh, changed it or something because it wasn't dark or nasty or anything. So it's going to work out pretty good. And it looks like it was also deck six that was in here. So that's also nice. But uh, we're not going to touch too much in here. Just doing that filter. Now let's put the pan back on here and then we can go ahead and start working on the other stuff. Okay, so when you're hooking it up to the computer you're not going to be replacing the same pins that the original 4L60 was going into you're actually going to go to like I said it was 22 and 23 of the green connector which would be the bottom connector uh, the top one is the blue connector and so then you just uh, use a pick like I did to puncture the the rubber the seal whatever so that way you can uh, shove it in and yeah I mean it's it's super duper easy now I had this hole so I didn't want it to be running near the exhaust so I went ahead and came up through here and then I'll I'll kind of like get it up out of the way so it's not just sitting there in the way uh, but yeah and also uh, that goes in the the front connector uh, the front sensor not the back sensor so just keep that in mind so we also got the connector in as you can see right there I had to run it over the transmission because it was just it was just long enough to reach right here uh, that that harness that uh, those butt connectors are not p part of this right here it actually runs straight up this way um, but yeah got the oil pan back on and everything so we just got to put fluid in her and like I said I got that that uh that dealio that um that dipstick so we just got to find uh, let's see where is it yep right here at this at a yeah, you can't see any of that, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so we've got it in there. You know, we've got to take care of the wiring. We got that adapter harness that goes from the 4L60 to the 4L80 plug. Uh, we got the speed sen sensor ran up to the ECU. So now we got the, the speedometer. Should work. Not in that cluster. So I got to get a new one. But you know, it should work. <clears throat> but the question is, what about the tune? Um, so there, you know, it becomes an issue. Let's say you have a 5.3 liter or 4.8 or, you know, something. And, you know, you got a specific tune on it, but you don't want to mess with that tune. And all you want to do is add the 4L80. Well, you can actually take your tune and you download a, uh, say, like a 2005 uh, Chevy 2500. Cause, and make sure it has a 6 liter and the 4L80 in it. And then you'll just send both of those things to HP tuners and they'll go ahead and do the segment swap for you. But if you're like me 
who has a 6 liter and now has a 4L80, you can actually go and just grab, like I said, 2005 is what I went with. Chevy 2500, had the 6 liter, had the 4L80. Uh, you have, whenever you do it though, it's not as simple as, this is now this is with HP tuners. Um, it's not as simple as just going in and just writing it like a calibration. You have to write the entire thing. So put your battery on a charger or like I have, I have a bench tuning uh, a harness and do it that way because it takes like five minutes to do it. So you don't want your battery to die while it's going on because it will brick your ECU. Just a fair warning. Got everything taken care of and yeah, I mean it's all squared away. Got Check out my, my method of filling it. Uh, the flexible dipstick ended up going right there. And you must have it where there's very little kinks or any or turns going in it. You almost want as much of a straight shot as you can get going in there. Or it is, if, at least for this one. Or, or it will be a challenge. And then it provided this weird uh, filler tube, which, you know, I ended up attaching it to all of this. And yeah, it worked out fairly well. I mean, if I put uh, nine and a half, ten quarts in there, I think it was ten quarts in there. And so, let's see, we just got a primer up and but we still got to hook up the negative battery terminals. All right, let's give her a shot. She hasn't crunk in a while, so let's see what we got here. little poop of smoke come out I don't know what the deal with that was but hey she seems to be idling pretty good if that initial idle was really weird I don't know what happened there but uh hey what matters is she's idling I don't I don't hear a sticky lifter anything like that yeah she's doing great that means the 4L6 4L80 is a complete swap uh, I noticed that it was puking out transmission fluid and so it's a combination of things so it feels here let me so you see that shiny spot right there when i was drilling my holes dumb me nicked that fitting so that is the adapter from 8 a.m to 10 a.m so i gotta get a new one of those and then this is the end that goes into the transmission now i did get the piece out so that's not a problem the problem is that it broke and it's no longer there anymore. So I can't re-weld that up and it worked just fine because it needs all this to go up inside there. So I gotta order a whole new, both of these fittings actually, which is fantastic. I mean, they're not expensive, but I mean, this is the one day I had off in like freaking a couple weeks now. So I was really hoping to get a chance to drive Earl, but um, Looks like I'm gonna be pushing her back into the to the garage. So, yay! Um, yeah, uh, it's just annoying. All I've been wanting to do is just drive her out before the winter time comes. So, yeah. Finally, I 
well, you saw the broken fitting. Well, I had to get replace that, and once I replaced that, then it was just still wanted to leak like crazy. Um, so once I got everything actually tightened down, not what I thought was tightened down, uh, yeah, she stopped leaking for the most part. There's still a slight drip coming out of there. I don't know. Uh, when I feel like it, when it's up in the air again, I'll, I'll pop it off. But until then, I ain't too worried about it. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> Oh, yeah, as you can see, uh, make sure you can. Yeah. So, as you can see, there are no leaks. I mean, I did just pull her in here, but I mean, <laughs> no more leaks. That's 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 the main thing. That's what I was going for was no more leaks because the 4L60 liked to leak like crazy, no matter what I did. And I think it was leaking from the front seal, which I replaced. And uh, it's probably because I replaced it though. And, you know, went ahead and picked up this shelf today, so we cleaned up all this junk, got it all out of the way. So, that's going to do it for this video. In the next video that you see, um, hopefully I'm doing a burnout uh, in this old girl. That's the plan, and uh, I'll see you then.